since you're going to make a bigger investment in Formula Drift, are you looking for more teams now? Yeah. So, I mean, last year we started with, uh, in Formula Drift, we start at the pro level, we started with uh, four drivers. This year, I'm expanding my driver count up to eight. So, it's a top 32 grid. So, shooting for 25% of the uh, of the field to be on Kenda tires this year. And if I'm one of those drivers looking for sponsorship, how do I approach you and how do I become considered by you? That's the long story. So, I mean, we still maintain a little, uh, a, a, um, a placement in the grassroots community too, because that's kind of where we started. And so, you know, kind of have this unofficial internal mantra of, you know, they're good for bros, good for pros. So it kind of touches on both those segments there where people are not necessarily running to be competitive, but to enjoy the uh, element of drifting, um, you know, and then obviously as a, as a higher level proving ground for formula drift. So we, you know, we do work with a lot of grassroots drivers, several that I've onboarded this year. We've worked also worked with uh, regional drift series, um, you know, my thought there was working with some series partners. You have, uh, you know, drifting series where people are signing up to and and run a given weekend or run a given event. That might be forty to sixty people or or more in some cases, and obviously a lot more eyes on that. So I found that working with series partners, they're able to exactly like what Robert talked about. You know, we're, we're a small company; we can't be boots on the ground everywhere. We do have our hot buttons with Champ Off Road and Formula Drift, but at the same time, you know, we're still trying to touch some of those smaller elements. So, you know, one of the things that I do look for on a grassroots side is people that can kind of be some of those boots on the ground. There's events that we just overlap with our overall event schedule or activations or marketing schedule. Some of us just don't want to work on a weekend. Um, you know, there's a time and a place for that. So we're looking for people and brands that can do that. I mean, so, you know, as we talked about before, social media is one element of that. And, you know, I, I work with people that are you know, whether it's 2000 followers, 20,000, 60,000, 180,000 on up. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to look for, you know, ultimately the thing is, is when we kind of look at whether it's formula drift or whether it's uh, a grassroots partner looking at things like, you know, ultimately what can they bring to the table? What can they do for us that we can't do? I mean, social media outreach is certainly a, a large part of that. We're also looking for um, you know, drivers who might be involved in media and who can bring additional media helping hands to the table and things like that. 